Hey everybody, Big J Anderson Mountain View Farms. Let the camera say hey. Hi. Okay, one of the last steps in rolling, and we're going to talk about that and how to make your wall uh, not have so many lines in it whenever you're finished, and just some tips on that. A um, couple things I do want to address first, and that's um, always carry kind of a wet rag on you. That way, if you bump some of the trim or something like that, then you can always go back and wipe that off quickly, especially after we've already uh, put off our gloss on there. Second thing is normally I use a much wider roller, but there's so much cut in and so many windows and doors in this uh, large room um, that I decided to just go with the smaller uh, uh, roller. Uh, last thing here, uh, you may have heard something called hat banding or, or something like that, and that's where you tend to have this major discoloration between the, uh, the main part of the wall and the cut in part. Uh, ceilings or around the ceiling, around the floors, around the doors, that kind of thing. Um, besides, if you have bad paint, it'll cause it. The other thing that tends to cause it is uh, that it's easy to, to uh, prevent is my particular bucket, I bought five gallons of paint. So I've got a lot of paint, several rooms, same color. And so I should have, it should be pretty uniform whenever I'm done. However, let's say it's a smaller room and I just bought two gallons of paint or three gallons of paint. I got three buckets, right? If I start to use one bucket and I go to cut in and then I use another bucket for a roller or kind of mix and match, my colors are probably not going to be as even because even though those colors um, are made to be the same one, there's probably just a little bit of shade difference even though um, it looks the same, but the eye can detect that when it dries. So if you take those two or three buckets, however many that you have on that project, mix them all together in a big bucket, five gallon container, or something like this down here. This is what I tend to work out of. A lot of stuff that people tend to, to buy from the store or sell are those small ones that you step in, it, it, it gets everywhere, it spills. But I like the, this really big, deep bucket here. If I'm just working with two or three gallons or if I'm working with, with four or five, it's just a good deep bucket. It's less likely to spill over on me. I know where it's at, it's big. Um, so if you mix all those together, that will really help. Uh, to try to prevent that kind of hat band discoloration effect. Now, so, so let's look at this wall here. I've already uh, done this part, but whenever you're applying this paint, what can happen is you, it's just natural. As you're pushing, as you're working through the paint, you might push a little bit harder in one spot, not as much on the other spot. Um, and then, like here, you can see it's probably starting to drive them just a little bit. And you really push hard, really push hard trying to get that coverage. Um, you're gonna create these lines on the, on the edges. Uh, you may not see them initially, but you will see when it dries. So one thing to do is always keep plenty of paint. You shouldn't be pushing hard. Usually it happens when you don't wanna go, don't wanna go back to the paint bucket or you're running low on paint, you're just trying to eke it out. Um, and in the end, it just it doesn't have a good finish. So you always wanna make sure you have plenty of paint just to even to begin with. So I'm gonna come back, got some more paint here, put that on there. Kind of finish this up. I want to get uh, a good close edge here. Maybe we want to be real careful on the ceiling. That's where you really don't have a lot of pay, um, play, excuse me. And so I usually make sure I have a good cut in width on the ceiling uh, just because I don't want to have this uh, big massive roll of color on my white ceiling. So now to prevent some of these lines, I see a little bit of line right here. Now I'm going to go across my whole wall and I'm going to go about half the roller around each where one of those lines would have been. And I'm going to go all the way across just like this. Got to be real careful on the top. Lift it up. So you get that spot down there. Come up. Again, you're going about half the distance of the roller, kind of light, sounds good, no pain issues. Come right here, I'm getting right here, so I'm going to switch it around. Now, so that should reduce a lot of those. So it may not reduce all of it, I'm sorry, it may not take away all of it, but it will definitely help it and give it a nice good sheen once it dries. Well, so that's our, that's our uh, all four episodes dealing with painting. Hopefully you've learned something and some little tips here or there to kind of make your paint job better. Um, 
AndersonOutViewFarms.com. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.